Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I will be looking at the Essentials Guidebook. Now this is uh, this interested me when I saw it because I saw it had uh, both Tree Cow Potato and the uh, Vein Rhino on it, uh, and it's so uh, I thought to we take a look at it. Uh, so, yeah, but it, said it calls it all Breaker and Tree Breaker instead of a uh, Vein Rhino and Tree Cow Potato. So let's take a look at the ore breaker. Whenever you mine a single block of ores, essential, essential, essentials will automatically mine the nearby ores. Oh, so you don't have to craft it. Whenever you break a single log, we'll chop down the tree seven blocks up to three blocks down. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So if I just like give at p on underscore four sixty four. So if I just go here and avoid the end portal, one, two, three, four, five. They so break one of these. Okay, that didn't really work. Maybe you need to use a vanilla pickaxe. So let me just give at p diamond pickaxe. I mean, it broke them. Yeah, I've got five. And if I enchant at P, four, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it doesn't appear to work with fortune either. Uh, let's just do a bigger area. We get a three by. Let's do a three by three. By three. And mine. Yeah, there's a. Hmm, I was, honestly wasn't going to think it was going to manage that because it's not been... So it seems just like do an AOE and doesn't like um, chain on like the vein miner from um, the... Uh, oh, I can't remember what they're called. World Utilities? From World Utilities I think they're called? It's, what's it called? Anyway, so that's the thing, man. No, you can work. So let's have a look at uh, Tree Capitator. I'm going to need to give myself a Diamond Axe. There we go. And give that piece up. That's you know, probably should go for oak sap then. O A K sap. Bone meal sixty four. So let's get a few trees down. So if I break it with this, yeah, it didn't work. You need to break it with a vanilla axe. Um, and now I'm stuck in a hole. So 
there, I'll just place a log beneath me. And then a dirt block. Oh. So let's see if we can get a big oak tree. See how it handles one of them. It does make a cool noise as well. Oh. This one also doesn't um, cause the leaves to decay. Ah. Hold on, I think I remember a trick. Uh, so if I build one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Place a sapling there. Hmm. Maybe I need to remove the top layer. Oh, there we go. Let's hit this with the Oh, I know the axe is there. Oh, it's in my hand. Yeah, no, it does not handle these big oak trees. And it, yeah, it doesn't even go all the way to the top. Yeah, that's, that's kind of lame, to be honest. Like so, so you can't. Uh. So yeah, so far the um, the world utilities add-on is better because it yeah so far it's just better. And now I can get there because yeah. So ju it just you don't have to bother like all this. It just chops down the entire tree. It's just better. Even if you do have to craft it, it's still just better. I think there's one there as well. This is like this is what I hate about to these uh, big oak trees and why I like it. Uh, so you can't take it so much because I don't want to be like guessing where like all the hidden logs are. And it's definitely not going to work with a two by two tree. I already know that, so I'm not even going to bother wasting my time with it. Can't even chop down a large oak tree. So far, not good. Both, uh, so both the uh, tree crafting and vein miner are worse than what uh, you can already uh, get on uh, the marketplace. So this add-on really needs to prove itself with its other additions. Otherwise, this is just not gonna be go turn out well. A, a very good review for it. Uh, if you have a crop in your inventory, essentials will automatically replant the crop when you break it. Okay, let's test this out then. Alright. Uh, give at P uh, wheat seed 64. Break that. Okay, yeah, that does work. Uh, and you don't need to have them on your hands, they can play great too. Yeah. Okay, that's de this is decent, but then the hookshot mod, th this basically has, it ha basically has an, a 3x3 three three area, and you don't need the item in your inventory, but at least, well, that one did like erase them if you didn't have room in your inventory, so. Yeah, and you do have to craft that, so this isn't, this isn't too bad, but. It's kind of basic. Checkpoints. You can create a checkpoint by sneaking and use plus using and then teleport to that checkpoint when you use the item. Repeat it. 
use will teleport you back to where you well you last were. This ain't much sense making. So call call it a check when I have to craft someone called a check. Ah uh, yes, checkpoint. Oh my god! A fucking recovery like right. if you don't like right. am I missing some recover It's eight bloody echo shards For one of the years uh, check points and we and the, those echo shards aren't easy to get. You can only get them from chests in the deep dark. That and then there's four diamonds and the, the four ender pills. Um, give at p check one two three four sixty four. And of course they only stack once. So what you what do you do? So you sneak so you so let's say I wanted to set it set one more right up here. Sneak, right click. If I then sneak and use to update checkpoint and then if I use it wait. Okay, well, well, I sneak, I sneaked and used it up there. Why didn't it set it up there? Okay, at least it's infinitely reusable, but damn, that's still expensive because then, because Echo Shards are a non-renewable resource. So yeah, still damn expensive, but uh, it's uh, nah. I can, I just really don't think it's that useful because there's other right. So this isn't like you can you know add-ons are new and uh, you know there's not many uh, co there's not much competition. There's plenty of competition now. Like the uh, magic spells add-on uh, that has a spell that takes you to your uh, bed basically. The thing is how you can like move your bed. Yeah, I've and it's also a lot cheaper with it just being a like some ender pills like that is just way way too expensive. E this is just way too expensive, even if it is infinitely reusable. Yeah, I just no, then that is just way too expensive. Vertical slabs can be placed on walls and destroy on you. Is Okay, so we can make vertical slabs. Do I just get planks? Yeah, vertical slabs. Yep, they sure are vertical and they sure are slabs. I mean, yeah, they're vertical slabs. No. Uh, mm. Portable blocks. Spawns a uh, crafting table, furnace, and a chest where, where you're looking so you uh, can access the. Uh, okay, let's see. Portable. Portable. So, yeah, chair. So. Uh, crafting table, it's four crafting tables. Okay, that's not too bad. One four is four, two fours are eight, uh, three fours are twelve. Wait, no. Yeah. Oh, one one. You right click and it places a crafting table. 
You're right click there and it moves the crafting table. You break the crafting table, you get a crafting table. Then you can place another crafting table, and you have infinite crafting tables. I mean, it's kind of useful. And I usually have a crafting table in my inventory for when I need it. And now I have two. So yeah, I guess that's kind of useful. I mean, you could also just carry around the crafting table. It do all it saves you from doing is like from having to pick it back up. Now this one could be useful for in the chests. Um, do I have any spare in the chests? In here? I'm just going to give myself three more. Give at p and chest three. Portable ender chest. Right click, places ender chest. You right click again, moves the ender chest. I mean, there's also an infinite source of like ender chest and the uh, obsidian as well. well. I have to admit, that is pretty useful though. Being able to just have like a portable ender chest, because then you don't have to worry about having to pick it up with a silk touch pickaxe. And I'm guessing that's just for things this year. I'm just going to give myself four things. Let's give that P for this four. Yeah, right click and it places a fairness. My opinion is this is the least useful out of all of them because how often do you really, are you like really going to be carrying around the a fairness? Can I place a fairness on the fairness? No. I can place some new things. It's new. I can place it up there. Oh, no. Oh, and it broke. And the Dr. The fairness. Oh, well, yeah. Not really that useful, but honestly, the portable ender chest is really useful, to be fair. Uh, got the ore scanner now. Scans for specific ores in the direction you are looking at up to a seven block. That's kind of lame. Or... Gonna, ah, so we got, ah. They got one that says it's for coal, copper, redstone. Why is redstone in with coal and copper? And got one that says for, says for iron, gold, and quartz, which I think that's supposed to be, that means never quartz. Got one that says it's for emeralds, diamonds, and lapis. Lapis should be with coal and copper, redstone should be with diamond, and the, the inst and the, the maybe get uh, never right in here, but yeah, let's start from the bottom one. With the basic of course, get Oh my fucking god, what is with this gate this uh, add-on? I'm requiring echo shards. Like, oh yeah, just go to the most dangerous place in the entirety of Minecraft, being careful to not summon the Fudging Warden to get a handful of shards so you can scan for coal, copper, and redstone. Why? And it's the exact same, but now you, have, you just replace like the copper with gold. And Dan's like, the eyes of it, I amended. That's not too bad, but why? What is the obsession with echo shards? Give that P or I'm gonna need to go to game and we're gone. Let's see, coal, copper, and redstone. Nope. Nope. What is the point of this? Like, you are. Like, if you. Like, to, for these, these to be of any use whatsoever, you need to know what level those ores spawn on. And if you already know what levels those ores spawn on, 
Just go and mine on that level and you'll eventually find it! Find some, like... So, oh, is there any redstone behind this wall? No. This guy's ruined my mine. Because he's a nail. Oh, any redstone there? Oh, yeah, look, oh, there's... Even telling me when there is redstone. This thing is completely fucking useless. How about this? You gonna tell me anything? What does it say for iron gold quartz? Oh, there's two lapis behind this wall. Oh, not four lapis. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Four lapis. It's so worth going to the most dangerous place in this entire game to get and then mine up a bunch of the rarest ore in this in one of the rarest stores in this entire game. Just to get this so I can know if there's uh, there might be some stuff behind a wall instead of just you know, breaking some bloody blocks. Next we have a mining helmet. When worn on your head, illuminate it so the path where you're looking can be repaired with iron ingots. What was it called again? Mining helmet. I can't remember what's mining on miners. Mining helmet. Five. Why a glowstone block? Why not just a torch? Five iron glowstone block to yellow dye. Uh, da bear, da bear, da bear, glowstone. And yeah, so I oh, yeah, two yellow dye plants, sunflower. Boom. Takes up a helmet slot. And when the effect wears off, you'll see that it just lights up a small area. Wow, so worth going to the nether to get to glowstone for this. Like, to be, like if you if you're using the hikers add-on. You can just like get that lamp and put, and you can just hold the lamp, and it does pretty much the exact same thing. You don't have to give up an armor slot for it. And it's less glitchy. Like maybe if it were, if it wasn't so glitchy and used a torch instead, then maybe I could see why you might want to use it for like going caving. But it's just too ex like never caught. Well, glowstone isn't that difficult to get, but by the time you can get it, you're not really going to be using this. This. So what's next? Anvil repairer. You can repair an anvil in the crafting table with uh, an iron block on top of the broken anvil. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, no, the anvil's not really broken. Because I spawn in it. So, can't really tell. Well, I can. Uh, I, well, I can test it. I just need to go into creative. And very damaged anvil.
So it just says put a block on top of it. Does it need to be in a crafting table? Uh, yep. So it does fully repair it and it's not just repairing it by one stage, so it does save you some iron. It, it takes you like 9, 18, plus 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 18 plus 4, that's 22. Saves you 22 iron ingots. I mean, it's a decent feature at least. This is definitely worse, definitely worse feature something in here. Fake blocks! Fake blocks look exactly like their non-fake counterparts, but you can still move through the fake blocks as if they were not. This book's not very helpful, it's just like, ah, oh, this is what's in it. I'm not going to tell you how to get it. Fake. So you got fake dirt, fake smooth stone, fake jungle planks, fake stone, fake coke plants, fake spruce, fake cobble, fake bricks, and fake pitch. Really, that's all they bother to add. And to craft it, you need five of the original block. And you get two. That don't make much sense. Yeah, you can't stand on it. You just, and you walk through it. I mean, it could be good for like some traps and stuff, but it's just like, there's such a limited uh, variety, like, you don't even have all the wood types, you just got jungle, oak, spruce, and birch. What about, uh, uh, all the, yeah, so bamboo, the cherry wood, dark oak, what about those three? And you don't even like, you've got you know, regular stone and smooth stone and cobblestone, but what about stone bricks? One of the more common building materials. I mean, I get, well, hold on. It could be useful for like, here. Oh, I don't even have five, oh, here, where I just could like have these to be fake smooth stone and walk through it to go to the back, to, if it's maintenance need doing or something. Uh, limited use cases, and yeah, just limited, uh, and the limited block variety. Like, it's so little work, you just copy and paste the code for each one, and just slap a different uh, texture on it, and just change up what uh, you need to change up the block that needs to craft it. Like, shouldn't be that difficult, there should be a whole, a whole corner copy of these blocks. Death waypoint. When you die, your items will be stored inside a green floating cube that you can see through blocks. Your death coordinates will be written in the chat. You can push, punch it to get the items or open it and take the items. So, I'm gonna go die real quick. I wonder, I've got, I've also got the, oh, I can't die with this from fall damage of this armor on. Because it gives me slow falling. There we go. Oh, and I've got feather falling. Uh, hold on. I'm just gonna kill myself. Kill at P. Boom. I died. Oh, I keep inventories on. Okay, uh, the gravestone add-on took priority there. So let me just... What I'm gonna need to do... Is... 
Behavior pack, active. Gravestone, deactivate, remove, play. Lude and slow, come on. All right, I'm gonna kill myself again. Respawn. Oh, that that is cool. You can see it like through the walls at least. That is cool. And it says your reward, and it's there. It doesn't tell me if it was in the overworld or in the Never. You know what dimension? You punch it, you get your stuff back. How does it? So give at p lava. How does it deal with lava? Yeah, uh, let's find somewhere. Actually, I know where. Be a good place. Anyhow. Ooh, that did not sound good. Yeah, no, most of my stuff got destroyed in the lava. Oh, uh, well, these two didn't get destroyed at least, I guess. Don't know why there was two of them, though. And I don't have the guidebook anymore. The Essentials Book. The Universal Remote. A remote that lets you change the time of weather, teleport to, to and save locations. Does this require on my sweet Jiminy Cricket? That's eight, nine, ten Echo Shards. Give at P and I. No, I'm going to need to go into game mode one again. Let's see here. Oh. I can't, if I right click, I can change the weather. So let's change the weather to clear. Wow, look at this clear weather that we're having. 
Such a great add-on, so with 10 Echo Shards. What about time? Can I at least change the time? Midnight. Yeah, change the time at least, so now I can sleep and I'll get rid of the rain. Apparently this vein is here to stay. Teleport her. Teleport one. Teleport her. Teleport one. Yep. So this basically completely invalidates that other like tele uh, like waypoint item. Because this only requires like two more echo shards, I think it was. It's also infinitely reusable. Way What was it called? Checkpoint, not waypoint. Yeah, so this also uses a recovery compass, so you might as well just save that recovery compass to craft this, because this, this does what that does! Now why is that in the game?! Why make that when you can make this?! And this is better than that! And it's not that much more expensive, except for I can't change the weather! When it's a, even though it's supposed to be able to change the weather. you got settings. We can turn all breaker off. We can turn tree capitator off. And we can do the same for crop planting on death waypoints. Ugh. Is that the last thing? Please tell me that was the last thing. Ah, uh, settings. Oh, it's just that. Okay. Right, so. My review of this. My opinion of this add on. Like, it's trying to be the, it's trying to be the everything add-on. It's trying to be your tree capitator, your brain miner, your crop replanter, your teleporter, your, like, utilities, and it's just trying to be, and you're like, gravestone, it's trying to, like, take all of these and cram them into one. But the thing is, none of these work as well as in the other add-ons that already exist in the marketplace. The ore break, the vein miner and the tree capitator works way better in the, the um, in world utilities. The gravestone add-on is way better than the death waypoint because I actually save just stuff from lava. Like I've been completely submerged in lava, died, and all my items were perfectly fine. Fake blocks, pretty, pretty much uh, point is like you're not with, like you, that's not nowhere near enough to like tip the scales. Anvil repair, sure. Like, mining helmet, too expensive for, and by the time you can craft it, you're not going to be using it. All scanner, pointless and expensive. Portable blocks, genuinely useful, not really worth the price of admission. Sideways slabs, cool is sideways slabs, like, you know, it's not mind-blowing or anything. Checkpoints, again, why are they in there when the universal remote does what's, uh, what that they do, but better? Crappy planting. Genuinely useful and kind of, but still, for the only two things in here that I'd recommend this for is like crop replanting, anvil repair, and that's it. And like, those, those two things are not worth the price of admission. Like, maybe, maybe the universal remote. Like, maybe you want to use it to like teleport or set the time or weather. Like, sure, that's somewhat useful. But it's also bloody expensive. So, in short, it tries doing too many things and doesn't really succeed at being that good at any of them. There's just better uh, other, there's just other better add-ons already on the marketplace that does what this does, but better. Now, if, let's say if the, oh no, not that, if the 
you know, tree capitator, vein miner, were as good or even like better than world utilities and that uh, the universal remote works properly, the death waypoint where, you know, they actually save your stuff from lava like uh, gravestones. Yes, I would very much recommend this because then you've got a bunch of other add-ons basically uh, condensed into this one and if you're playing on Switch where you can't have too many add-ons because otherwise it's a breakdown and it, like, even on my PC sometimes it breaks so when I have too much add-on I will walk with if I have too many add-ons this just does not we, that this you know that would uh, make it uh, worth it in my opinion because you know if the or you know vein mine and tree capitator worked as good as in the, the world utilities then I would recommend this probably as much or more than the world utilities because that because well that uh, um because in that you there's the three by three pickaxe and the omni tool which some people may find a bit too op because they can't break and and also the vein miner does apply fortune and like say the vein miner applied um fortune if you had fortune on your pick that would be cool but it's just like it just doesn't do anything as good as uh, what we've already seen in other add-ons. So I can, this is the only add-on, um, this is the first add-on where I'm saying it's bad, don't buy it, go buy other some other add-ons. This is not worth your money. And I'm, I'm disappointed. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, it, you know, this could, be good, you know, condensing multiple into one, and then then you don't have to have so many add-ons. But no, no, just just leave, just don't buy it. Anyway, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and bye bye.